Here's the Toyota Mirai fuel cell vehicle. Now, a fuel cell vehicle is one that runs on hydrogen. And the cool thing about running on hydrogen is that when hydrogen is burned, it mixes with oxygen, making H2O, which is uh, either water or steam coming out of the tailpipe. So you're not going to have any toxic emissions coming out of it. And this is a four-door, probably five-passenger sedan. It's got the big shark gills on the front of it. I'd be a little scared coming in and out of my driveway with a bumper that low and wide. Let's take a look inside of it. So here's what makes it go. Everything's pretty well labeled and I'm not an expert, so you can take a look here while I ask this science question. So if you got a million people on the road of Los Angeles or two million people driving hydrogen powered cars, where does all that uh, water or steam go that comes out of the car? Does it become a like a humid tropical climate? Are we going to turn into Miami, Florida all of a sudden? Or is the water going to evaporate, go up into the sky, and then we'll actually have some rain here and it'll solve the drought problem? Interesting uh, stuff to think about. I always think about that when people talk about hydrogen cars is, okay, great, there's just water coming out of the pipe, but where does it go? Does it go down the drain to the ocean? Does it go up in the air? Um, I suppose someday we'll find out when we run out of gas, but it's good that Toyota is moving forward and trying new things and building cool cars that run on different technologies. And this one looks like something that could actually happen. You just have to populate the uh, country with hydrogen filling stations. So there you go, that's the Mirai uh, fuel cell hydrogen powered car. And when they talk about a fuel cell vehicle, that's what that means. It means it's powered by hydrogen.